How to edit music in the Splice Video Editor app. Music and video is a topic so many people struggle with. The main problem is always, where do you get music from and are you allowed to use it? The great thing about Splice is that it comes with an extensive music library. You're about to learn everything you need to know about making a video using your iPhone. My name is Dean Parman, this is Travel Vidstar TV, and welcome to our iPhone video editing tutorial series. If you have any questions about Splice or you'd like to see how another app works on an iPhone, let us know in the comments below. In today's video, we are going to cover how to edit music in the Splice video editor app. Once your clips are in the timeline in the right order, it's time to add music to your edit. How to add music to a Splice video. In your timeline, there are two secondary tracks. The one is for your text and the other for audio files. You can have multiple audio files in the track at the same time, like music, a voiceover, and sound effects. Here you can see how there are three levels. I can tap on this to toggle between them. For our purposes though, let's just work towards adding one. When you want to add music, place the video playhead at the part where you want the music track to start. Then hit the music option in your main menu. Select your track and choose the add option. The music will be brought into the second track below the video clips. How to trim music in Splice. Once the music is in your timeline, you can edit it just as you would a video clip. You can watch how to do this in the link in the card above now. First, you need to make sure that you have the audio track selected. You know that you've got this right if you can see it displayed. Displayed, not displayed, and then displayed again. Once you see this blue audio track, now you know you can change it. Adjust its volume, trim it, duplicate it, split it, all the same things that you can do to the video. You can also shift this audio track on the timeline by dragging and dropping it to a new place. Remember to also check if your track is shorter or longer than your video. You may need to trim off the back to match the length of the video. Another thing to note is that you can only edit one item on the secondary track at a time. This is important if you have multiple pieces of audio, which will happen when you want to do an audio fade in or fade out. How to fade music in Splice. There are two situations that require you to fade music. The first is very simple, when the track needs to come to an end. If the music is longer than the visual part, that you don't want it to just suddenly cut out. You want it to gently fade out. You will find this function in the volume option in the sound submenu. Here you can adjust the master volume, but also add a fade in or fade out. The second reason you would want to fade is a little bit more complicated. This is when you want the music to drop down to let a talking video clip be heard. The music needs to be turned down in only this isolated part. The way to do this is to use the split tool. You need to select the music track, find the part where it needs to start being softer and make a split there. Select the new split off part and then find where it should end and become louder again. At this point, make another split here. Now you have three separate audio files. The piece in the middle, beneath the talking video, is the one you want to adjust to about 30% of the normal volume. When you play the video now, it will beautifully drop and rise as is needed. A very, very important note on this. You need to be sure your edit is ready before you do these split adjustments. If you make any changes to the edit, like shorten or remove a clip in a different part, the fade section that you created will no longer align correctly with the corresponding talking clip part. You will have to delete this track and start again. Then there is something else you will want to consider when it comes to volume control and fading, separating sound from a video clip. 
When you have completed your audio fades, you need to listen to your video again and decide if any of the other video clips need muting. Sometimes it can be highly annoying to have the ambient sounds of a video poke through the music. Here are two ways to do it. Option A, select the clip you want to mute and go to the volume option in the submenu. Slide to zero volume. Or option B, select the clip you want to mute and go to the extract option in the submenu. Extract it. Select the extracted audio and slide the volume to zero or just delete it. I know this can be a little bit of a laborious task, but it will make your final edits much cleaner. You will need this option B when you start using B-roll footage over talking clips, like in an interview setup. More about that in another video. Got any other music editing questions? Let us know. Thank you for watching, and I really hope that this was practical, informative, and useful. And as I said in the beginning, if you have any feedback, questions, or comments, you know where to put them. And don't forget to let us know if there's another app that you would like us to look at in the second part of the series. If you want to learn how to make a video, then please subscribe to our channel and also remember to hit that notification bell not to miss the next editing tutorial. Please also check out our website for loads more information on how to make a video. Thanks for watching. My name is Dean and this is travelvids.tv.